welcome to your love reading for March 29th through April 4th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys for coming here. Thank you for spending your time with me on my channel. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. All right, so after I get done with your regular spread here, I am going to pull um, energies with the different signs, so make sure you stick around for that. And I'm also going to answer a yes or no question for you. So think about whatever your question is while I'm doing the reading. And that'll be the last thing that I do, okay? All right, here we go, guys. Cancer in love, March 29th through April 4th. I hope you guys are doing awesome in your love life. I hope this is a good one. Let's see. Overall energy for cancer. Oh, the four of cups. Well, okay. Four of Cups, your own energy, actually. Recent past for Cancer. The Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Present energy for Cancer. That was quick. Thank you. Oh, you guys are going to love it. Look at this shit. The Chariot. Your own energy. You guys are already coming up upright in your own reading. This is beautiful, guys. Immediate future for Cancer. The Page of Coins reversed. Well... Nah, just whatever, I guess, right? Potential obstacle for cancer. The Six of Cups reversed. Wow. All right. Okay, let's start here, guys. So if you haven't watched one of my readings with this particular spread before, for me as a reader, the overall energy in this spread is the person I'm reading for would be you. Everything else in the reading here is interchangeable. It can be for you, the person you're dealing with, outside influences that are affecting your connection, whatever. Okay, we'll get to that as we go. You guys here are in this Four of Cups energy, right? Okay, so you might be a little bored, a little indifferent, a little whatever, whatever when it comes to your love life. You might have a couple options here. Um, maybe one sticks out more than the others and you're thinking about maybe grabbing it, but you're really just still thinking about it. You're not taking any action. If you're in a relationship, I, you're kind of at a place where it might feel like it's stagnant. Like you might feel a little um, lacking emotion. <laughs> Let's get another one on that, guys. Clarify the Four of Cups for Cancer. The Ten of Wands, okay. Well, it's because you're exhausted. You're a little whatever, whatever about the shit because you're exhausted, you're tired. You've got all these burdens, whether it's in the relationship or just outside of it. You know, maybe you work a lot or something. Maybe you got a lot of kids. Something here has you drained and really unable to focus on a love connection any more than just like, okay, it's cool, whatever, you know? I think that's changing for you though, actually. In the recent past, you've got the Seven of Wands. Now, again, this can be for you or them. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. This is being guarded. It's standing your brown, your brown, your brown. <laughs> All right, it's standing your ground, Cancer. All right, you or somebody else standing your ground, protecting yourself or protecting your connection. Now, in the present energy is where you have the chariot, your own energy, which is awesome for you. Um, so, you know, this is about you being all in your power. I know it sounds corny, but it is what it is. It's you being all in your power, right? Standing your ground, taking charge, whatever. You're going to have to because you've got all these burdens. So, you can handle it. You just maybe shouldn't have to or maybe don't want to, you know? Otherwise, though, aside from this being your energy, it's success, it's victory, it's moving forward. You could be traveling to see someone, you could be traveling with someone, you could be moving in together. It's moving forward, either physically or metaphorically. Let's clarify that chariot for you. Clarify the chariot for cancer. The 
the Hermit. You could be moving towards a Virgo or them to you, or it doesn't have to be a Virgo at all. I. It looks like you could be taking a vacation, like traveling to get away, to kind of hide out, to hermit yourself. Um, you know, maybe you, if you're in a connection, maybe you and that person need a vacation together, or just kind of like a time out, like even if it's just taking a day off together, just to be like just you guys, you know? Let's get another one there in your present. The tower reversed, three majors all in the present. So whatever you're doing right now, man, it's heavy. It's heavy, Cancer. Uh, it's not awful, it's just heavy. So here's what's happening. The tower's Mars energy, Aries and Scorpio. Um, but in order to stop everything from falling apart, right? This is avoiding a disaster, avoiding chaos, avoiding everything crumbling to the ground. You're really going to need to take a time out here. You've just, it, it's just too heavy. Life has just gotten to be too heavy. So in order to move forward in this connection or in any other, it's really time for you to take some time for yourself. Go within. Find out what it is that you actually want here. You know what I mean? All right, let's get another one on that tower. Clarify the tower for cancer. The six of pentacles. This is such a cute card in this deck. Six of Pentacles, Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is all about equal give and take, reciprocity, okay? This is you guys both putting in the same amount of effort. It's a very charitable energy, so finances look good for you. Um, but with you having the Ten of Wands in your own energy, it's kind of like you are either pulling all the weight or feel like you are. So this is a balancing out of that. And this is what needs to happen. Otherwise, it's all going to fall apart. You know what I mean? You can't have one person carrying the whole relationship or responsibilities there. Okay. Now in the immediate future, you've got the page of coins reversed. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, lack of commitment. Lack of any kind of stable communication. And I, honestly, I think that you only get to that point if somebody doesn't take the time they need right now in the present. Um, it can also be, you know, turning down somebody's offer. What is this page of coins reversed? What is this page of coins reversed for cancer? The world reversed. Oh, okay. So somebody feels like they have unfinished business and they need some closure. And the other person, whether it's you or them, somebody here feels like they got some unfinished business. They don't want something to close out, right? There's some kind of cycle here trying to close out. And somebody feels like they need to have a conversation about it, get some closure, whatever, and the other person is just not with it. Like, no, no, we don't. We don't have to talk about this. What's done is done. We don't have to have that conversation. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, or somebody's just real reluctant to actually commit. Your potential obstacle is the Six of Cups reversed. Scorpio energy. There could be a Scorpio that's kind of um, an issue <laughs> for your connection. Um, but either way, the Six of Cups reversed as an obstacle, it's past energy. So if it's not somebody from somebody's past, like a past love or whatever, that's, that's a problem in your connection or in your love life, um, then it's past trauma, past, past issues, could be things from childhood that are still a problem today, you know, that affect your love life, could be that. Advice, advice for cancer could also have to do with kids like there could be some issues with kids in your relationship advice for cancer the five of swords uh oh that's some conflict it's petty petty conflict arguing trash talking um watch your tongue watch your mouth when you're talking to somebody and don't let anybody talk to you like trash now let's see what is this conflict what is this drama about Clarify the Five of Swords for Cancer. The Five of Wands. Oh my gosh. Back-to-back -back fives and it's all drama. Competition. Jealousy. 
bickering back and forth. This is all a bunch of garbage. Garbage drama that you don't need to engage in. Let's get another one. <laughs> Somebody might be jealous here. Somebody might know how to talk to, might, blah, 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 like me, like I don't know how to talk. Somebody might not know how to talk to people like an adult. All right, we've got Leo and Aquarius. Oh, and the Nine of Swords. Somebody is really stressed here, and I think it's you because you're in the Ten of Wands. Somebody's real stressed here. Somebody's, you know, having some depression issues, some anxiety issues, probably not sleeping at night, maybe having some nightmares, not eating well. And that's what I mean. That's why the hermit energy is here with the tower reversed. You know, if this is you, man, if you don't take a break, it's going to fall apart. You can't, you can't keep going in that energy. And I think it's because of the drama. There's just too much drama. It just got you in this place where, holy hell, like, I can't argue anymore. I can't talk about this anymore. You know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. So please take care of yourselves. If this is not you, understand that the other person is really going through something. Okay, let's get you with the other signs, all right? All right, Cancer. Cancer's dealing with other water signs. I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready, and it was too many cards. <laughs> Cancer's dealing with other water signs. What is up with my Cancer's dealing with other water signs? How is it going in your world? Queen of Pentacles, nice. Looks to be committed, devoted, loyal. Could be married to the person, or that could be in the future. Cancer's dealing with fire signs. What is up with my Cancer's dealing with fire signs? Ace of Pentacles reverse, lack of commitment, lack of stability. Cancer dealing with air signs. Cancer dealing with air signs. What is up with my Cancers dealing with air signs? Justice, that's actually Libra energy. Libra is an air sign, so you could be dealing with a Libra. Anyway, Justice, for those of you in a connection with um, a Libra or any other air sign here, it does look to be fair and balanced. And with Justice, it looks like you guys look at each other like you're equals and if you could actually be married to them or it could go there. Okay, Cancer's dealing with earth signs. What is up with my Cancers dealing with Earth signs? Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The Six of Cups. Past energy. You could have like a past soulmate that is an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't mean you have to be with them for forever. So take that, that term soulmate lightly. Um, could be somebody that you've known since childhood, but this is nostalgia. Maybe you have kids with them, um, but it does look like that is in the past now not in like a bad way or anything you might have somebody an earth sign from the past coming back okay let's get your yes or no question are you guys ready do you have your question cancer take a deep breath think about your question okay you ready here we go yes or no for my cancers thank you it's a yes and it's the hermit again <laughs> it, it's a yes for your question and i need to point out that it's the hermit again and you guys need to take a vacation or something whatever you are able to do with your lifestyle that gets you some rest go ahead and do that okay all right i love you guys thank you so much for being here i greatly appreciate all of you as always I will talk to you again in another day or two with your monthly April reading.